this uh, right here, by the way. Uh, I really want to get y'all's opinion. So this is Billy D. Williams. Hold on. Yeah, this is Billy D. Williams. If y'all don't know who that is, that is uh, Lando Calrissian from Star Wars. Um, so Han Solo's buddy, uh, he was one of the few black people in yep. the original Star Wars, by the way. Oh, so in case guy. you don't know Lando. Yeah. Um, Let's say the black and guy, yeah, this story right here has to do. Well, I just happen to know his actual name, brother. Uh, <laughs> I'm like me that. in on that, brother. I'm like that. Me in, brother. You know what I'm saying? Well, brother, you know the. Uh, uh, so this is actually him having a conversation with uh, Bill Maher about blackface. So I want to go ahead and show you guys what they said, and then I want you get want to get your guys' opinion on it. So Othello, yes. I fell out laughing. He stuck his ass out. Oh, drunk. And oh, they, they, they walked walked around <laughs> with, with his ass problematic. You know, it was like you know because black people are supposed to have oh, big I, asses. Right? I understand. How I fell out boy, laughing. And, I thought it and was, Bradley Cooper thinks he's got a problem <laughs> with the nose. I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> yeah, I it. loved it. I loved it. But see, I love that kind of stuff. Yes, I big love, asses. Who doesn't? Love no, the no, penis, love the no. I know. Yeah. I, I agree. Okay, but but here's the thing. Today, I mean, they would never let you do that. Why? Blackface? Why you, not? Because you should do it. That's maybe that's your point of view. <laughs> you should, th- if you're th- an th- actor, you should do anything you want to do. I. That's a great point of view, but the theater would be bombed. Oh, I mean, yeah. Muley and I used to talk about this all the time. Muni was the one who was the first person that I worked with in those years who said to me, if whatever, as an actor, you should be able to do whatever you think you can do, you should be able to do it. But again, not to bring up your sore point, but you actually lived in a period where you couldn't do that, where you couldn't play the part you should have played. But it didn't matter. I'm. The point is, and that's a great attitude, but it still did happen. Of course, it happened. Okay, I mean, but but the fact is that you discuss it. Anybody right. can talk about it means that it wasn't happening. But I mean, but and the Paul point is, comes from an era. You don't go through life feeling like, <laughs> dude. You made a great point. This man is too drunk to be. <laughs> yeah, right. Man, he's drunk. <laughs> but he's drunk. Drunk. He's both, saying that's drunk. it. They both fucking drunk. They're both drunk. They're both drunk as fuck. Yeah, but old man sloth. Him, I feel a little bad about how he he made his point, and that's all he heard. (laughs) (laughs) That's all he heard. Roman's been victim. Correct. I couldn't agree with that more. I, I, I'm just. I mean, I refuse to go through life now saying to the world, "I'm pissed off." I'm not going to be pissed off twenty four hours a day, and you shouldn't. Hey, he, nice, hey, he nice, stood nice. on his feelings. Oh, yeah. It could be how he talked, for real. <laughs> he might just sound drunk. Yeah. He's a little older, so maybe. But, yeah, I want to get you guys' opinion on this. So, blackface, do you think that there's ever a time that's appropriate? Is it uh, uh, completely, yeah, is it completely inappropriate? Do you want to go first? Um, honestly, man, I don't need Denzel, you want to lead the way, brother? Yeah, do you want to yeah, lead I the mean, way, brother? Like the only hey, one brother. with blackface on here, right? Hey. <laughs> Honestly, it's funny because he's actually white. He's in blackface right yeah, now. No, yeah, literally. really. I'm the blackest one here. No. Oh, sure. my, my dad's white, so I mean, <laughs> take that for what you want. Um, but, but my brothers are black. So <laughs> honestly, I mean, so I watched Tropic Thunder as a kid. What a movie! Never really even thought about it. Um, I don't think black people think about it. Okay. Until the person does something out of bounds. Okay, so Robert Downey Jr., for instance, right? No one gets on him for Tropic Thunder. No one cares. People have. So let's not say nobody. Well, I'm I feel saying, what you're saying. Okay, so what I'll say is I've never ran into a black person that didn't like the movie or had something negative to say about Fair. it. Fair. Okay. So that being said, so it's like, okay, for me, where where most black people see blackface, they, they don't even think about it as racist. They 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 really don't. I mean, in all reality, if you're going to have a white person play a black person, to have Spencer play a black person, it, it, it's just, you're not going to get into it. It is just is what it is. Any role where you're going to see a black character, you're going, or a Spanish character, whatever it is, you're, you're going to see someone from that ethnicity playing that character, right? Now, if you want to have, say, in the 1950s, for instance, when this was a big thing, I guess. Child smooth. If you're going to but portray this, back of then, you let Paul, let's listen to him before we get off topic. Yeah, if you're gonna, see. if you're gonna say something about blackface back then, it's like, well, that just was the time period. 
You know what I'm saying? That's the time period. Black people weren't really on TV like that. And that was the time period for it. Now, nowadays, if someone plays blackface, you're not going to see that because black people can get on movies and TVs and shit like that. And if they do it, it's literally like some satire ass joke on like SNL or some shit. You know what I mean? Are you talking about when people do blackface? Yeah. It's like, do you remember the last time you seen? I don't remember. Tropic like, Thunder, brother. And oh. then I also seen it on Saturday Night Live. But like I said, that was a while ago. You know what I'm saying? I was a kid. And honestly, oh, it was a white guy trying to play a black character. So well, that's like, what it is. So, yeah, but some people, so that's the thing. So some people make it out to be a malicious thing gotcha. where it's not a malicious thing. It's like when you put. Why not just get a black person to play that character? Bing. Because then it wouldn't be funny. Well, okay. Well, Tropic okay. Thunder. Because the black person is going to play a black person very well. Well, okay. Well, a white person ain't going to play a black well, person. Yeah, but why well, don't you make well, the characteristics funny that they're portraying instead of mean? just the fact that they're fun? They're I black. Wonder, I or, didn't even know. Listen to this, guys. Yeah. I didn't well, fucking know Robert Count Downey fucking Jr. when he played that movie. I didn't know he wasn't black. Well, okay. Well, even though he's white and part of the movie. Yeah, that, that was the. Okay, yeah. 100%. 100%. You didn't pay attention to the movie. 100%. Yeah, they so, literally so do the, like, at point time, I was like, damn. I mean, I would, if you would have never told me he was white, I would have never known. The smooth said, by the way, just real quick, because he said he was a dude playing the dude being the dude. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, which, exactly. which again, the thing about Tropic Thunder, Tropic uh, Thunder, and if we want to keep it at Tropic Thunder, I think that sure. kind of isn't like the entire point, but like Tropic Thunder, yes. Robert Downey Jr. pulled off blackface in the most comical way, almost like how Steve Martin in The Jerk the, it opens with him saying, I grew up a poor black so, child. Can I point out, a, a tr so I, I, I'll give it right back to you, but I think there's a distinction to be made with what Robert Downey Jr. was doing. Because in that movie, Tropic Thunder, it's a satire. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Yeah. So he's not really doing blackface in the sense that I'm making fun of black people doing blackface, right. which is how blackface would usually be used. It's in it's actually making fun of the movie industry's right. use of blackface. Right, which, right. so, yeah. yeah so, 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 so well, no, no, like, like, and which that was you people, which was that was all <laughs> Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder was a parody movie. Again, it was making fun of war movies, having these, these sure. fucking actors, these A list actors who have these, these, you know, comfortable lives, then trying to play these hard, rugged military men. And then you have a black, a, a white actor taking the black role, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have the rapper who was actually, who's all about booty, 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 booty who secretly is gay. And it was kind of like all these kind of like hints at like how the industry kind of like plays itself to where that was kind of the satire comedy. But I feel like he did it in the least malicious way possible, literally pissing on people who did that, which yeah. you could say, again, we had white people playing the pharaohs in movies. We've had white people play uh, slaves in movies because, and, and then just get slaves. colored black. You've, th this is back, back in the oh, day. Man. So, so I'm saying to where that's why it was a satire. Now, I think when it comes to blackface, where it becomes a problem is like, I do think like high school dances, high school things where it's like people, it's tough because like you have like where the kid dresses up, wants to be Tyree Kill. Okay, well, you can just put him in a jersey and then he's going to be Tyree Kill. You don't have to go and get the blackest paint you possibly fucking can and paint your kid literally black. For him to be Tyree killed, well, that's brother, you want him to go fifty or hundred. But but no, but uh, but but that's where I can understand where human beings go. What the fuck? And then you get a problem. I don't think where the the, the Tropic Thunder thing was a big deal, but I do think that there is a time and place, and and the intent is the main thing behind whether or not it's going to be racist. B little white girls in Tennessee going to a certain prom. I remember that was a story like years ago mm -hmm. where they went as like literally acting like black people and painting themselves them going to schools and acting like slaves and painting themselves black to to yeah. depict slaves is like do what that's where it's just like okay, okay. question then so let's because that's i'm not saying it's racist but it's, i want to get your sensitive. opinion on it but i think that those are two different things so i think it's it it's fair to bring it up but i think we should still also separate them so like kids painting themselves and going to like a high school function or something like that I mean, I, I would be curious to hear their opinion, but that kind of seems a little bit, it seems malicious, um, where people are doing, like, for example, like Tropic Thunder is the example that we've used here. I'm trying to think of another example. Because, uh, I mean, let's just, I want to ask you, let's say that it's done with good intentions. Say you just, for whatever reason, you think this white person or whoever is the best for this role, for whatever reason, uh, and you color their skin to make them look more like the character they're portraying. Um, not in a malicious way, but your intent is because this is the best person for the role and you want them to play the role. Uh, and you want them to look more like it so it's believable so people immerse themselves in the experience right. so how do you feel about that like, let's take it away from let's yeah. take the malicious intent completely out of it that was so yeah that, that i wouldn't like that no. that's okay. that's right. going backwards and again that's kind of like okay where it's like yeah you can just find somebody that fits or make the character yeah. white 
like don't take the white guy and make him black because well he has to be black but we're gonna choose this white actor well, over. the only the only thing i would say is if you're gonna do the makeup like how you did um robert downey and and uh and uh tropic thunder then i don't think anybody's gonna care mm. because it, because okay if you look I at blackface people, go ahead. in the back in the day when people were doing it mm-hmm. and you look at how they do how they did in tropic thunder it's completely different blackface back in the day you look like a fucking monkey on fucking stage <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a bubble of the clown type shit. Nowadays, they're actually just doing your whole, all your skin, making it look smooth and even. Mm-hmm. Like I said, if you didn't watch the first part of that movie, you watched the second half, you would have thought Robert Downey was black. Yeah. That's what happened to me. But like I said, I think I, I, I'm curious your opinion. So if you could just like, and maybe you'll just agree with it, but um, the point that I made earlier, where the difference between the intention behind the Robert Downey Jr. thing mm-hmm. is actually to point fun at the racist practice mm-hmm. of using blackface. So it's not they're not making a movie and saying like, Hey, we want Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. to, to be blackface. And it's, they're subverting that by that's what they're actually, it's like a meta kind of like uh, yeah. conversations happening. So how do you kind of like, yeah, I mean, how do you, uh, uh, if you're saying that people wouldn't have an issue with it, I guess I'm asking like, how do you get from that where it's acceptable all the way to now you're taking roles that, theoretically could go to black actors and now you're giving it to white people you know what i'm saying that's different than uh, robert downey jr's because robert downey jr's yeah. was a white person his character was a white person mm-hmm. that actor. was making fun it, 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 that did yeah. blackface and that's what he's making fun of right. but let's change it let's say that his character was black through the whole movie legitimately black right. um and all the same things are actually still true you know what i'm saying so all the same things are true he did great Can't. he's hilarious in it but his character actually is supposed to be legitimately black and then they casted robert downey jr can, in that role can, can, okay so can we add a movie to it like like django instead of morgan Fre- uh samuel jackson playing his part you added like a white actor like brad pitt or matt damon played that part yeah and instead they they, they put makeup on him to make him a house slave yeah i mean that's what i'm saying if you're going to do the makeup like how you did in tropic thunder no one's going to care mm-hmm. the problem is if you're i doing agree with it, denzel just if for you're, the record if you're doing it care. in a way I just to if where you do care i think you're wasting a lot of time and energy so because the thing is is like here's okay. the thing right so yeah. when people did blackface back in the day when you looked at it, it was fucking terrible that that's the real issue it didn't look good don't you, i don't know if that's don't you think, I don't, I don't know if that's right? don't you think the opportunity issue, thing is an issue and like, they yeah, made, it made it look bad for a reason okay, so question, it was funny. question question you but don't that, you think because, that the opportunity is a bad thing no, because what? no okay because it goes in reverse too I mean, yeah I what 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 like, what hold on example hold on no 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 white chicks is not a perfect example because it is that two black guys playing two white bitches but but that's a satire movie but that's a movie about satire so, no so care. we're not talking about a no satire movie. But we're not talking address, about a satire movie. Just to address his argument, because I think mm-hmm. he said the same thing. I feel like if I made a movie about, if I made a movie about how people shouldn't make movies about impoverished kids, and I use or like people in kids in Africa, and I'm using these kids in Africa to demonstrate that point, like even though it's considered meta in like mm-hmm. some sort of ways, I think it's just uh, a cop out. Really, mm-hmm. honestly, I think in all honesty. Um, you're, I, I just don't feel it's. But but would it be wrong to to make a movie about uh, impoverished kids in Africa mm-hmm. and use ten white kids that you painted black? No, not really. Why? How? Like 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 where where are we going backwards well, here? Because the thing on, is, on the is terms you're of like, doing it as like you're slapping some black paint on them and you're throwing them on the screen. No, like, you're no, taking like they're putting that you have makeup artists that are on there. Yeah, making them look like Africans. So, bro. so like, like I told you, the black when actor, I came into that movie, I didn't I want to respond know that to was the movie Robert, he brought up. Robert so, Downey Jr. You I'm mentioned white chicks, and I want to mention that, by the way, and there's a few comments here, so Smooth mentioned white chicks earlier, so uh, I just want to point out that this is similar, basically the same concept yeah. as the uh, Robert Downey Jr. thing, because those characters are not white women. Yeah. They are black men that are dressed in as white women throughout the film. They're never white women. Right. They're always pretending to be white women. So I guess no, you're no, black say, dudes. They're black dudes that get in costume. Pretending and, and so that's my part point of being, the movie. Hold on, though. So my point being is we're not watching this movie. There's these two white females that are black guys are casted right. as okay. and we're supposed to believe these are legitimate the whole point of the film but is what about these terry are black cruz men. in the movie right terry cruz terry cruz doesn't how play, they make terry cruz but he doesn't that, right? play a white guy yeah, but no but what so, they do is is what they make him a stereotypical fucking house nigga that sit here that was like he, proper he, first of all first of all hold on hold on hold on point see terry cruz dresses on the context of the movie and some fucking dress shoes first of all what are we talking about? Subtle. First of all,